Hello, my name is David O'Brien. I'm a cookery tutor with Dublin Dunleary Education and Training Board. And today I'm going to show you how to make some meatballs. And the same recipe also makes homemade burgers. So I have one packet of mince here, which is about 600 grams. Depends on the package you get. I have an onion diced small. I have some barbecue sauce, some mixed herbs, some garlic salt, and some salt and some pepper. And so it's very easy. So you just put the mince in a bowl and put in some salt and pepper. Add some of the onion, maybe not too much. Depends on your kids. If your kids don't like onions, don't put in too many. So I just kind of put in some mixed herbs. You can put in some fresh garlic or some garlic salt. Okay. Now I'm putting in barbecue sauce because I like kind of the smoky taste of it, but you can also put in some tomato ketchup. So it's just literally a good squeeze. So you just put your hands in, make sure your hands are clean as well before you start. Mix it all up. Now in some recipes you'll see you can put breadcrumbs in. It's up to yourself, that just kind of soaks up some of the juices and grease. And you could also make these a little bit spicy by putting in a pinch of chili powder or some Cajun spices. And some people like to put some diced red and green pepper into it. So, this I'm just going to make meatballs. So you just pick up a little ball of mince and just roll it into nice rounds. Make sure it's nice and firm so it doesn't break up. And they will shrink when you're cooking, so don't make them too small. So if you wanted to make a burger, it's the same mix. So you just make sure it's well patted together. It's this kind of shape it. And there you go, you just, yeah, that would be your homemade burger, just to show you that. So that'll be very nice, say for barbecues and stuff, having your own burgers. Convert that back into meatballs. So make sure they're kind of all the same size and that they're nice and firm. That one's a little bit smaller. And that one's up. So that's it, it's as simple as that. So now I'm just going to put them in the oven and wash my hands and then I'll show you how to make the sauce. So I have the oven actually at 190 degrees and for 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure that the mince is fully cooked through. It's nice to bake them on the tray because all the grease and juice will flow out of them. So there you go. Now while the burgers are, while the meatballs are cooking inside, I'm going to make a homemade tomato sauce with it. So for the tomato sauce, we need one onion diced small again. You need two tins of tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, or if you like, you can use tomato passata, it's up to yourself. And then we have some garlic crushed. I have some fresh herbs, I have some fresh rosemary here, which I've chopped. Otherwise you can use fresh, fresh basil is nice, or oregano, but if you don't have those, the dried is fine. And we have tomato puree, salt, pepper, a little bit of wine is optional, it's up to yourself, and um, a little bit of sugar, and a stock cube. Right here. So, to start it off, we're going to just soften down the onions and herbs, so put a little bit of oil in, the warm pan, so I have the onions here, 
and I'm going to use up the right onions I have left over. Soften them down for two to three minutes. So, my fresh rosemary I have in the garden. And as I said, I don't have any fresh oregano and rosemary today, or uh, basil today. So it's going to use a little bit of the dried. And if you didn't have those, mixed herbs is fine. Whatever you have. Let that fry off for two to three minutes. So the onions have softened down there nicely. You can smell the nice aroma coming from the herbs in the garden. So wine is totally optional, it's up to yourself. You know where you need it. Let's open it a tiny bit there. And you can hear it be blazing there, so. Then put in your tomato. And then I'm gonna put in some salt and pepper. Then the stock cube, you just kind of crumble it in, let it melt, okay, and then I always put a pinch of sugar in tomato sauces, it just helps bring out the natural flavour of the tomato, so a little pinch of that, and, and a squeeze of tomato puree. So you may need to put some water in, depending how thick it is. So we just bring that up to the boil and we let it simmer then for about 10-15 minutes. So the sauce has been cooking here for about 10-15 minutes while the meatballs have been cooking. And I've added about a quarter pint, 125 mils of water because it was getting kind of too thick. So there it is ready. Gonna take, make sure you taste it. Make sure the seasoning is right, that's good. So that's kind of a rustic tomato sauce, which is the base for a lot of Italian cooking. So you could use that for a base for a pizza, for any tomato dish. So, put that there. Now, the meatballs are now ready. They've been in for about 15 minutes. So there they are. So, as you can see, a lot of the juice comes out of them. So that's good. So, you're just going to push. Nice and firm, and they bounce back, and the juices are clear, so that means they're cooked. So, you can cook it with any pasta you want. So, that's just a bit of macaroni we had here. It's normally done with spaghetti, but oh, it's normally done with spaghetti, but it's um, harder to eat. So, three or four is a normal portion, and so put a spoon of tomato sauce on top. And then just to finish it here, I have some fresh parmesan. So I'm just going to grate some over the top. Let's be chunks. And you can grate it with an normal grater. And that's it there. So that's your meatballs with tomato sauce, homemade tomato sauce. So I'll just quickly recap. So for the meatballs mix or burgers, so it was like whatever packet of mince you have. So roughly 500 grams of pound of mince, one onion diced small, squeeze of barbecue sauce or ketchup, mixed herbs, salt and pepper, and a pinch of garlic salt if you wished. So just form them all into small little balls, put them on a tray, bake them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. So for the tomato sauce, I did one onion diced small, two tins of chopped tomatoes or one tin of passata, two to three cloves of garlic chopped small, 
I had some fresh rosemary, a bit of dried basil and oregano because I didn't have any fresh, um, a one stock cube, a splash of wine which is totally optional, um, about a quarter pint, one to five mils of water, and salt, pepper, and a pinch of sugar to bring out the sweetness in the tomatoes. So you just soften out the tomatoes, soften down the onions and garlic and herbs, add in the tomatoes, the water, the sugar and the stock cube, bring it up to the bowl and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's for kind of a rustic tomato sauce. If you like you can liquidize it as well. Or if you didn't like tomato sauce, some people would do the meatballs with say some pepper sauce and some rice instead. So that's it, so hope you enjoy.